When you mention the H&K G series of rifles, most people automatically think of the G3. And of course they talk about the G3 as, oh yes, that German roller lock rifle. Uh, that is a little bit of a misnomer um, in that the G3 is not a roller lock rifle. It's a roller delayed blowback rifle. The true roller lock mechanism is what was used in the MG42 during World War II. And the difference being that a roller lock locks the barrel and the bolt together and they recoil together for a certain distance until the lock unlocks. The G3, the barrel does not move. The machine Gewehr 42, the MG42, and that's the, the roller locking system. Uh, a very good system that was subsequently used uh, in the uh, STG 45 rifle. Uh, so this is a Sturmgewehr. Uh, that uses that rolling locking system. And uh, the, the, the problem is that the Nazis were out of time. And at the end of the war, of course, most of the German uh, manufacturing capability of implements of war was dissected and split up and uh, actually even sent out of the country. Most of the factories were sent to either France or the Soviet Union. And one of the designers at Mauser, uh, along with one of his cohorts, went to France uh, with what was the Mauser company. France claimed not only much of the Mauser factory hardware, but also the German technicians who created the STG-45. Brilliant German arms designer, Ludwig Vorgrimler modified and upgraded the STG-45, eventually developing a modern assault rifle, the Setme, in 7.62 NATO at the request of the West German border guards. Coming out of World War II, Germany obviously lost. But they did succeed in creating kind of a new classification of firearm that the rest of the world wanted to get their hands on. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.